I'm Brian, welcome to the Sport Fishing Boats channel, and today we are talking about buffing pads. So you've got oxidation on your boat, you've got a buffer now, and you're wondering, which pad do I need to use to get this stuff off? That's what we're going to talk about today, because obviously there's a confusing assortment in front of me, but don't worry, you don't need everything that's here. I'm going to show you what you do need. First things first, though, all of these pads that we're looking at right here all fit an orbital polisher, like this Makita right here. And if you've seen my other videos, you know I love this machine, and this is the one I recommend that you get. You do not want to mess around with a dual action polisher when you're trying to remove oxidation. It's simply not powerful enough. It just cannot get the job done. So don't waste your time or money buying one of these. They're great tools, just not for what we need. Now, when it comes to the pads themselves, they come in two varieties. They're single-sided pads, and this is what I'm going to recommend that you get. A um, couple reasons for that. Mainly, when you buy a polisher, it's going to come with a backing plate. You don't have to go out and get it. It's already included. And you can go ahead and take your pad, center it, stick it on, you're ready to go. With the double-sided pads, you've got to take an extra step. You've got to get yourself a quick connect coupler. It's an extra $30 or $40. I love this 3M. It's definitely a great one. But nonetheless, it's a whole other added expense. And that lets you use double-sided pads. But double-sided pads, in my opinion, are really just for professionals. The reason being, and why we use these, is say we're up in the bow of a boat. Um, our pad's getting dull. We need a new pad. What we can do is just pop it off the machine, flip it over, pop it back down, and we go back to work. It saves us time. I don't think for the amateur doing this at home, that time savings is ever going to add up to being worth it. The only other advantage to having these connectors is you do have a wide array of pads that aren't always made just in single sides, like this one particular black pad right here. This is an edge pad, and it is great at removing really heavy oxidation. Don't use it very often, but when I do, it's really nice to have. But, like I said, you don't need all of these. I'm going to show you what you do need and what I'm using 90% of the time myself in my own business. What you've got here is our first step to get rid of oxidation. We're going to be using a compound with a heavy wool pad. Both of these will work. And once we get all the oxidation off, we're going to be left with a nice glossy finish, but it's not as glossy as it can be. And that's where our second step makes all the difference. We're going to then come back with a polish on a nice soft pad like one of these polishing pads. That's going to do two things. It's going to get that last little bit of gloss that we didn't get in our first step, and it's also going to clean up all the swirl marks that these two pads will make. And last but not least, we got to talk about foam. You don't need to waste your time with foam on a boat, and I'll tell you why. First, you can get excellent results with one of these synthetic wool pads with your polish. And the next reason is, especially when you get on the inside, these pads won't get into tight areas like around cleats, up around bow rails, as well as the wool pads will. And if you get these near non-skid, or actually just about anything, they'll just tear apart. I just don't find them useful. I used to use them years ago, and now I pretty much don't bother except for rare situations. So save your money, don't even buy a foam pad. Let me show you what you are gonna need. Just a good quality wool pad. We we'll use this with our compound. And you need a nice polishing pad. Now, Presta's what I use, and the quality of the pad is really important because it does not matter how good of a compound you use. If you're using it with a cheap pad, it's only gonna work but so well. It takes both a good pad and good product to get good results without destroying your shoulders trying to get it done. But you can get that. In the wool pad, this in your polishing pad, and you're going to be all set to go. And if you've got any questions or comments about this or anything else related, just hit me below in the comment section so I can get back to you. Thanks, guys. See ya.